All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing episode two of the top five pets for each school. You know what I mean. Also, don't forget, you can also drop a sub, and you can also like the video if you do enjoy it. I would greatly appreciate that. I love you guys. Bye. Enjoy the video now. But all right, starting off pretty strong at number five, right? I'm slapping the Pegasus Pony up there. I'm not going to lie. This might be a bit of a surprise, because who uses a Pegasus Pony? Nobody. And I think it's a pretty underrated pet. I'm not going to lie. I got this pet. This pet is like four plus years old. I don't even know how old this thing is. The, it's obviously awful because it has Defy and it's a really weird pet. But look at the spells. Three 125 judges. That is really, really good. It's a little weird though. I'll be honest because who uses judgment? But it doesn't matter because it's a good card. It's a pretty, it's a, it's an all right looking pet, whatever. I don't think the looks really matter. And I think just overall, it's just a pretty solid pet. Honestly, I didn't know what else to put at number five because everything I have is the honorable mentions, which would have been like six, seven, and eight. I don't, they're, they're just not like full, like top five pets. No, I don't know. I like this pet a lot. So I'll put it at number five. All right. Next up at number four, we're putting the balance of possum. All right. This is an interesting choice of mine. I'm going to be honest. When I first put this there, I'm like, hmm. Hmm. This could be a good number five. All right, so back on the balance. I got a few pets on this pet, or a few, yeah, I have a few pets on this type of pet, whatever. And the opossum is a very interesting pet, okay? Overall, it has some downsides because one, it's balance school only, and it looks kind of ugly, really ugly, actually. And the cards are not good for PvP. This, I don't really care about that. I don't think I ever specified that the series was meant for PvP. But requesting, this is very helpful, right? Overall, it's just a solid pet, right? You get two blades that stack. So you can have regular balance blade, you can have balance blade, you can have sharpen blade, you can have blade storm, regular blade storm, sharpen blade storm. And then if you're fighting a balance enemy, you can go with the balance with the dragon spear on it. It's a pretty good pet. There's a lot of good bases out there. I think it's deserving. And overall, it's just a really solid pet. Slightly better than the pony, than the Pegasus Pony, I think. I think it, you, you just use spells on this more. I don't know. Whatever. All right, and then going to number three, we got the Kookaburra. Another balance school only pet. Is it balance school only? No, it's not. I'm lying. I'm literally lying to you. It's it's literally not. Okay. Yeah, the Noble Kookaburra. The original is life. I'm actually stupid. But this is a very good pet. It's a mix of the Flamenco and the opossum because you got that balance blade you got that availing and then you got an extra sandstorm that does a little bit more than like base damage sandstorm and it's pretty good for questing because you can just blade and then sandstorm but then that availing hands is so juicy 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 so uh, i really recommend this pet if you don't want to go for the full flamenco which will be higher up i hate to spoil it it will be higher up um this is a good alternative you get that availing hands you get the balance blade it looks really cute so yeah Number three goes to the Noble Kookaburra. At number two, I'm putting the Clockwork Paladin. I I hate to say it. I, I mean, I hate this pet. I'm going to be honest. I 100% hate this pet. But it is super, super good for a balance school or any school at all. If you're like jading at low level, I hate saying those words. Like, But if you want to jade, this is the pet for you. At low level, it's super, super hard to counter minions. And even at higher level, like max type of play um this minion can be very good you can spend four pips on it then the bad thing is that the minion can get taken down for two but if your opponent doesn't take down this minion in pvp your minion's gonna go ham it can use spirit shields elemental shields like pierce blades it can use balance blades it can use mantles and weaknesses it can even do like four pip spectral blasts this thing is a beast and it also gives you three cards of the minion it is just insane beyond belief for no reason. I don't know why this thing hasn't been nerfed yet. It's kind of stupid. It really needs to be nerfed. Like, like, like for max PvP, it might be okay because you can like one tap it with like a scorpion. But like at low level, nerf this thing, please. All right, here we go. So before we actually get to the number one spot, right, we're gonna do the honorable mentions, as you know, and we're gonna start off really strong, honestly, right? We're gonna go with a balance armament. I think this pet is super, super good. It has all really good spells for low level mostly. This is why I'm giving it, an, it, I'm only giving it an honorable mention because it's good for low level, but it's not that useful for max because at max level, 
right? How often are you actually going to go for a punishment or like an item card version of supernova it's just it there's just no reason to even do it like you just don't need those spells as item cards there's no reason so yeah overall cards are pretty good for the level like i mean like below 50 very very good and like probably number one but because it's just awful at max that's why i'm only giving it an honorable mention and i think the pet just shouldn't go unnoticed all right number two for the honorable mentions we're going with the cat thug um this pet is stupid uh really really stupid it's basically an enhanced scorpion right it's two pips does 160 damage so it's a shield breaker and then puts a minus 25 on your enemy it is pretty good like the reason that it's on and only an honorable mention like i probably would would have given it number five but like it's it's just so stupid it's there's you'll never use it you'll you will never use this like i mean maybe you could but like if you have scorpion spellman what's the point like it like i don't know it's literally it, you could say that it would deserve number five but like it's just so stupid it doesn't even deserve to be in top five i'm gonna be honest and then our third and final um where it's kind of third and fourth final ish um i'm putting the grim scarab and the scratchy or whatever the frillosaur is with the universal set bonus um both of these i'm putting them up just because of the set bonuses um they're both really really good the grim scarab will give you that three percent if you use the road warriors setup bonus whatever and then um the frillosaur will give you five damage for balance that's basically it um not that great to like only use them in my opinion if you're going for item cards then you have much better options but if you're only going for like the pure set bonuses then run one of these because they they're pretty good they're pretty good you get like no good cards from them for a balance but they're pretty solid that's why it's only an honorable mention as before in the ice video um they're good but they they're just don't they don't deserve top five i'm sorry all right the moment you've all been waiting for i hinted at this before which i'm kind of stupid for and i don't feel like editing out all that much but we got the Flamenco Tokidora, you know, or whatever, however you say it, I have no clue. The Flamenco, right? It gives three of Veiling Hands, the Kookaburra gives one. Um, this is totally deserving of the number one spot. Um, maybe Clockwork Paladin would have deserved it, but you know, I hate that pet, so it, no, it's not getting number one. There's no way. The Flamenco is something that I use on my balance. I have two super good pets. I have this one, Teddy. And it, it, those, those spells are so juicy. Look at those. 85 plus 870. If we compare that compare that to the main one, what is it? 70 and 780. You only get like 90 more or 15 more in total. But it's just so good because then you don't even have to carry these in your main deck. You can just always have these. And it's a, it's a cool looking pet too. Look at this thing. Look at him. He's such a badass. Look at him. And yeah. I love this pet. There might be some bias there going on because this pet has literally treated me so well in PvP. But I think those cards just go a long way. It's good for PvE. It's good for PvP. Overall, S, S tier pet. It's amazing. And yeah, that concludes today's video. So if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.